if you are planning on being the clowns in the upcoming Killer Clowns from Outer Space game, then you may want to know all the advantage you have at your disposal in order to carry out the clown apocalypse. Okay, let's start with the weapon you will use on the humans of Crescent Cove. Everyone on the clowns team will have these two weapons, the mallet and the candy ray gun. Not only can the mallet be used for blunt attacks, it can be charged up and used to stun the survivors in the area that is hit. We also seen it break down doors, but if you're trying to capture the humans, you can use the kind candy gun. Take note that the gun takes some time to fill up its meter, but it can be used to block objects used for escape and on the red direction machine to at least slow up their process while you're en route to stop them, if you know mm. where they at. The clowns also have abilities known as tricks. Not all these tricks will be available in the beginning and will unlock over the duration of the match as you move along. The tricks are on a cooldown system, but the cooldown time can be reduced. The more cocoon generators you are able to fill up, the faster you will regain your tricks to use. There are two tricks that all clowns on the map may have, but each clown will have their own individual trick, such as Jumbo Finger Lure, which is only available to Jumbo. The first trick is LOL, and this occurs when you laugh with your clown. It will regenerate your health and give a short buff, but I'm not sure what those buffs are. Each clown will have this ability, and early on in production, the ability healed fellow clowns near you as well. So I wonder if that's still part of the LOL trick. The second trick that was only for Shorty at one point is now available for all the clowns, and that is turned into a pizza box. This will come in handy when you're in chase with the humans or hunting them down. You can break their line of sight on you and run behind some items in the environment, then pop out right in front of them. I think this trick will help catch a lot of humans that are not paying attention. But also, please remember to hit one of those engagement buttons. I appreciate it. The last ability that will be available to all the clowns is the jump ability. Jumping to areas of the map will make things tricky on timing for the human side, unless the jump ability is on a cooldown system as well. Remember, in order for the clowns to jump to it, their area must be discovered already by foot. Clowns also can hear loud noises that is triggered from the humans from being too loud, and that's a notification on the screen that shows up as a colored circle. But this also can be an advantage for the survivors as well, because they can create noise by throwing bricks or cans in the opposite direction to distract you. Okay, what's so important about collecting cocoons as a clown? Well, it's one of the quickest paths to victory. By collecting cocoons and filling up the generators, that does three things for the clown side. For one, filling the cocoon generator produces more lackeys to help you track down the survivors. Number two, like before, it reduces the cooldown time for your tricks to be used. And number three, this is a huge one. It can start the clown apocalypse early, which could be terrible for survivors that are having trouble navigating the map. These are the advantages the clown team side have that we know of so far. Remember to subscribe to keep up with Kira Clowns from Our Space the Game, and welcome to Mr. Unleashed World.